For this topic, we're going to discuss the security issues with FTP. FTP, which stands for File Transfer Protocol, is one of the most widely used protocols to transfer files between two machines. It's very popular in the web hosting world. However, FTP is not a secure protocol in the sense that it sends your credentials, like your username and password, in plain text to the server. Not only your credentials, but all the files that you exchange with the server, uploads or downloads, are transferred in plain text without any encryption. Therefore, you should use Secure File Transfer Protocol, which applies encryption in all messages between the client and the server. Now then, I'll show you how an attacker can steal a user's FTP username and password using TCP Dump for sniffing and Wireshark for packet analysis. The attacker is going to use Nmap to scan for open ports on the victim's computer. He's going to take advantage of the FTP open port on 21. The attacker is going to use TCP dump and determine a interface to sniff on. The attacker is going to use TCP dump to sniff traffic on port 21 on the victim's computer and write it to a test.packet captured file. While TCP dump is sniffing the traffic on the victim's computer, let's go ahead and verify that the FileZilla server on the victim's computer is turned on. So in this scenario, the victim is going to try to log on to his FileZilla server from a remote location. He's going to type in his username. His password. Now he's logged on. Now that the victim's logged on, he's going to go into his directory and do his work like he normally would. Now the attacker is going to stop his TCP dump packet capture. The attacker is going to use Wireshark to analyze the test.packet captured file. The attacker will filter the traffic to FTP protocol only. Now the attacker is able to view all the FTP traffic from his collection. He's going to view the TCP stream. And here he can see the victim's user name and password in plain text. And this is why FTP is insecure. So make sure to use Secure File Transfer Protocol instead.